la nuit, quelle violence inouïe tu ne trouves pas Tu dors. Non qu'elle évoque la mort, la solitude hantée des enfants, ces pensées peupleraient l'insomnie, mais on y voit nu les rouages de la veille. Sur le pont, l'océan tout entier se change en salle des machines, et dans chaque tour de garde, la discontinuité amorphe des heures soumet le mousse à la torture. S'il avait su. Pas une angoisse intéressante, une à la Heidegger, comme dit cet ami qui ne dort plus. Un bazar, un medley sadique des plus mauvaises chansons sur Radio Nostalgie, l'encombrement du temps. Comprends-tu que l'on ait bien envie de te réveiller, mon amour, de secouer tes épaules pour te montrer ce qui se passe d'affreux Qu'est-ce qu'il y a On fait haut, on va droit sur l'iceberg, et non, il n'y a rien à l'horizon, c'est bien ce qui affole. Le Titanic, selon certaines sources, n'aurait jamais coulé, mais un autre navire, presque identique, auquel des armateurs véreux auraient donné son nom, comptant sur un naufrage sans mort pour encaisser la prime. Le Titanic, le vrai mouillerait encore dans une rade paisible, on ne sait où. Il existe une carte postale montrant un paquebot à demi englouti, le Cabiria ou bien le Caribbean. Et cette légende en gras, vous êtes invité. Il s'agissait de l'inauguration d'un restaurant. Longtemps j'ai cherché à qui l'envoyer, une femme certainement. J'avoue que je m'identifie assez à ce bateau débaptisé, privé de son Big Bang, qui a coulé, coule encore dans nos têtes et n'a pas coulé. Surtout le soir, le soir est si sentimental. J'ai toujours cette carte. Tu l'as gagnée à la sueur de ton sommeil. You are invited. The day advances masked, the strongest, subtlest feeling of the day. The night lays its mechanism bare, the burden of time. Water's coming in. We're heading straight for the iceberg. So the day advances, masked on very narrow trails. Oh no, it doesn't look its age, which doesn't mean it's older. Were it enough to hold a small mirror to the overbearing light to read back to front across it, what? Not the truth, all the same. Just that the kilo of tomatoes weighs a bit more or a bit less. The hum of the town directs the boom from one minute to the next, to the day's chorus, frail sounding through riffs of oiled brass. The setup smells of sweat, and the big band in ragged tails mocks a classical orchestra. No, no. That chain mail couldn't suit you better, I swear. I'm not saying it's wrong, but what if we dance? The man next to you doesn't find the music modern enough. He's reading magazines. So, in three years, you'll no longer love the things you love today? No, it's not that simple. I like, says your neighbor, things that give me the strongest, subtlest feeling like a perfume crossing the room on stiletto heels of the day. Later, when I pop the cork, I know, and this adds spice to my pleasure, a bit bland as yet, that it will be there, vintage. I see. That sort of thing never happens to me, I'm afraid, or only through desperately vaporous creatures. Water that boils just before rising in the cafetière the sun when it spills over the stained carpet, the fork clinging against the pewter of a box of scraps for the cat drives it mad, for example. And that, you see, doesn't have much to do with culture. I no longer read. Well, no longer hoping to feel what? To feel, quite simply. Some people put their Polaroids in the freezer, They age badly, that's obvious, but don't mistake the desire to postpone effacement for that of unreal colors. Iceberg, aurora borealis. Time only flows colorless at room temperature. As soon as the atmosphere coagulates, it stinks of cooking oil. The dishwasher has made thin scales as strange as fragments of meteorite with more human remains. There are days like that. 
That'll be enough for this one, okay? Anyway, the light is falling suddenly in the bar, signaling a change of tariff. And daylight saving time, what a con, launders evenings loot by taxing morning sleep. Good night, sleep well, my love. If that's an order, rest assured I mutiny. The captain is at the back of the hold. A cat couldn't find her kittens in this murk. And neither the port we left nor the one we're heading for is visible. Yesterday stood me up. Tomorrow, tomorrow, gone with the wind, is another day. Nighttime, what unexpected violence, don't you think? You're sleeping. Not that it evokes death, the haunted solitude of children. These thoughts will populate insomnia. But it lays yesterday's mechanism bare, on the deck, the whole ocean transforms itself into a machine room, and at each lookout post, the amorphous discontinuity of hours tortures the ship's boy. If only he'd known. Not an interesting angst, Heidegger style, as that friend says. Not sleeping now. A shambles, a sadistic medley of the worst songs on radio nostalgia, the burden of time. Do you see that someone longs to wake you, my love, to grasp your shoulders, to show you the dreadful things that are happening? What is it? There's water coming in. We're heading straight for the iceberg. And no, there is nothing on the horizon. That's just the horror of it. Some say that the Titanic never sank, but another ship, almost identical, whose worm-eaten carcass handed its name over, counting on a shipwreck with no dead to cash in on the insurance. The Titanic, the real one, would still be anchored in some peaceful harbor, no one knows where. There is a postcard of a half-sunk steamship, the Kabiria, or perhaps the Caribbean, with this caption in bold, you are invited. It had something to do with the inauguration of a restaurant. I wondered who to send it for ages. Definitely a woman. I admit that I feel quite an affinity with this de-baptized boat stripped of its big band that sank, sinks still in our minds and never sank. Most often in the evening. Evenings are so sentimental. I still have that card. You've earned it through the toil of your sleep. Mm. Oh. Don't be too happy, it's not over, <laughs> it's no longer, but I spare you the French from now. Don't cut the line. It's wonderful not to know where things come from. Hidden sequences are finer, there are intrigues in the midst of which you forget the beginning, no longer anticipate the end. For another moment or so, Everything is penetrable. It begins like that, in the middle of a conversation. The market has already blossomed in the burning hot square, the budding phase. And to call this town Venice, it was necessary to camouflage the infrastructure, to place forks, knowingly spillikings over the orchestra pit. The merchandise brought in by convoys, without headlight, silently at night, rivals nature. Pay back, yet it's wonderful not to know where things come from, not even children. And when ethnologists pose as missionaries of family planning to laugh with the savages, 